What's up guys, Mr. Lee Redman here and welcome to episode number 8 of the simulation series. We are now 80 years into the future. As we remember in the, in the last episode, we had um, Hibernian taking over domination of Scottish football, winning, uh, what was it, nine premierships in a row. Um, and then not only that, they actually then become the most successful club in that 70 year stint, um, overtaking Celtic. Um, and then Hearts were beginning to do a little bit towards the end of it as well. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this and have a look. Already something standing out with the fact that Rangers manager is insecure. But let's have a look. So, as you can see, Hearts are the current champions and they have taken over. Hibernian actually made it 10 in a row. However, Hearts then made it six in a row. Celtic actually winning their first title for... I don't even know how long that is. Oh, God. 35 years. But then it only lasted for one season as Hearts bounced back to win two in a row. So let's have a look at this current season. So we've got the usual suspects as well. Um... Yeah, so usual suspects in there. Let's go to the championship. So we've got Fraser, bro, now up there, as well as Inviuri Locos. Um, so let's have a look. Did um, Oh, no, wrong one. Inviuri. Have actually just been relegated down from the actual premiership. It's, I mean, that was the first time they'd actually not got relegated first time round for a while. So look at Fraser, bro. They've actually just been promoted to a championship. Probably be their fourth or fifth season in there. They actually finished eighth last season, which is good. Cinch League One. Banks OD, Breaking, Clyde Bank. Four Martin. Pollock from non league. Cinch League Two. St. Johnston sending out Inverness are back in there still. Hermes, Cowan and Beef, Clanton and Cudden up there. So, yep, so we got St. Johnston in League 2. Highland League, we got Alawa. Cove Rangers falling down a bit. Fort William is still in there. Anyone else? Not really. The Lowland League. So, Eldrian. Eldrian? Adria. Oh my god, Erdrionians and Albion. Um, Dumbarton. Oh, Kilmarnock. Didn't even register that I've not seen them yet. Kilmarnock, the first team to drop out of the Football League. And to be fair, they dropped out a while ago. They actually, it's five seasons ago, they actually dropped out. And not last season, but season four, finishing fourth, is actually their best finish since getting relegated. Um, Linton are still in there. Well done, boys. What are you doing in, uh, have you been doing in the leagues? Uh, they've been in there for a while, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Kilmarnock being the first ones. Let's have a look at the past winners. I don't know why I'm bothering, but yeah, Hart and Celtic dominating again. But we have had East Kilbride actually go and win one, which is good. Let's have a look at all the others, see if we recognise anybody. Well, we recognise most teams, but any interesting ones. North Caledonian, there's not much in there. Scottish Premier, or Juniors, North Premier, sorry. Um, no one really. Just mainly looking for, like, potential Highland League or Lone League clubs normally, or former league clubs, obviously. Scottish Midlands. No one really in there, apart from the fact that there's practically half of the original North Caledonian League in there. West of Scotland. Not really anyone there. East of Scotland. Annan and Berwick Rangers. Kelty Hearts. Also former league teams there. South of Scotland. Stranraer back in there. And then we got um, Scottish Juniors North. No. 
as you were pretty much. West of Scotland first, Darvell. Um, but that's about it. William class has big. East of Scotland first, Bonnie Rig Rose. Falling down a little bit. Can't really see anyone else of classes. Potentially big going down there. West of Scotland second, East Sterling. Being in the second uh, division there. East of Scotland second. Nope, not really. West of Scotland third. Nothing by have no is something. East of Scotland third. No, and let's check the one I think it is. Yep, Sterling Albion have now fallen all the way to the actual bottom tier of Scottish football. Bear in mind, they started in League 2 when we started this. Was it League 2 or was it League 1? I can't. I think it was League 1, actually. Um, see if we can find out. Uh, I think it was actually League 1. Uh, oh, no, gone too far. It was it was League One. So they have actually fallen from League One down to the bottom tier of Scottish football. Um so yeah. So they so that there's some big takes there guys. Uh in Vuri going up and down between the Premiership and Championship. We've got a second non league team in was it Fraserburgh in the championship as well. We had St Johnston down in League 2, which I thought was the biggest one, until we saw the Kilmarnock are actually now in the Lowland League. Um, and then we've obviously got Stern and Albion falling all the way to the bottom tier of Scottish football. Um, let's have a look now at the Scottish Cup. Hearts, winners of that, so they've done a double. Um, a little bit more spread, I say a little bit more spread out. Hearts and Celtic, 4 each, Jerry United and Dundee United. So Hearts are closing in on Rangers. Uh, unfortunately, not seeing Inviori or anyone there. League Cup. Also, Rangers have won a couple there, as have Celtic. But Hearts won more than Rangers, and Hibs have got the other two. I get a feeling Hearts could be above Rangers now in the trophy count, or at least close to them. Let's go to Europe. Story Champions League. Uh, any Champions League winners? Nope. As we did, as we thought, I wouldn't be. Europa League. No, but Hibs did make the final, losing to Tottenham. And then the Conference League. No. But Rangers made it twice, losing to Leeds and Villa. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Thought we might have somebody win that one, to be fair. But um, we at least had Rangers getting twice. Hibernian in Europa League once as well, final. Uh, but still, no one making Champions League. I don't know even if we'll ever get a team make it to the uh, final in the Champions League in this save. But we'll see. Um, let's have a look at Scotland, 12th in the world rankings, going as high as 11th. So let's have a look. World Cup, quarterfinal every single year since losing the final to England. Losing to Ireland in the last one. And then the Euros, it has been... Second round comfortably ever since losing to England in the semi-final. So, dipped a little bit there. We've only making the second round. But, um, I suppose you could say they're at least consistent. Doing well in the World Cups against the core, uh, getting the core finals. Let's have a look at the Euros. The winner since we were last here. So, we had Germany win one, England. And that's it. Because we've only had two. And then let's check the World Cup. Uh, 
Uh, we've had France and Germany win it twice. Ireland finishing runner-up to Germany last time round. With England in third. Um, can't really think of what else to look at at the moment. Um, let's have a look at the uh, stadiums again. Celtic with 75,000, Hibs with 72, Rangers on 64, Rangers and Celtic still at Celtic Park and Ibrox. Um, but every single stadium now in the, in the Premiership is up to 22, it's up to 20,000 at least. Um, most clubs get, well, every club bar. Rangers and Celtic have new stadiums. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this one, guys. Um, Hearts, oh, wow, okay. Rep Reagan. Hearts are actually four and a half, four and a half stars. Um, that's actually mental. There's a championship. Let's have a look at the premiership ones. So there's a premiership. Rangers and Celtic, four stars, as well as Hibs. And then Hearts on four and a half because they've obviously gone mad in the actual league. Here's a hoping they might win something in Europe next time round. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Um, as per usual, let's go on to the trophy count. Here we are, guys. Trophy count after the 80 year period. See, we have new uh, all time leaders in the Premiership with Hibernian, though that was pretty much the same as last time. Um, still Celtic with the Scottish Cup. And they've actually gone back top of the League Cup after those couple of wins. And um, yeah, as we can see, Hibernian are now only a couple clear of Celtic as Hibernian didn't win much in that 10. Um, it was hard to make the big moves. They are a couple behind Rangers, mainly thanks to Rangers winning a couple of those League Cups. Um, but um, but yeah, this is how it looks at the 80-year mark. Um, starting to uh, make a bit more in red. So yeah, here's to the next 10 years and... Um, Let's see how that goes. But until then, guys, leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe. And as always, take it easy.